Hello, this is Stephen, uh, spelt S-T-E-P-H-E-N. I'm calling from the bank. This is a recorded line. Boys and girls, this is Big PPC. Today I'm going to talk to you about scammers. Scammers are the most immolated people that could act like somebody else, which they're not. And today I'm going to give you an alert of one of the scammers that I caught, which it was funny, stupid, very quick. And how I met this person was an app called Mimi App right here so when I show you the chat box I'm gonna be telling my story in the background so um, please enjoy and the person's name is Amanda fortunately Amanda lives in New York City so let's get on with this and enjoy so, um, how I met Amanda is in this app that's called Mimi App, which is right here. I'm gonna click on it now. So, I'm pretty sure a lot of these people are scams. Some of them I know they're not because I watch their live shows, but <laughs> in ways I. We'll see if she still has her the text on here, which she kind of hid now. So she put the person knows that I I got them. It's actually a he that was acting like a she the whole time. Yep, fortunately, that's it. But I do got the profile down on the What's Up app. Let's click on that. <clears throat> Let's go back. So there's a number. Full information. Here you have it for the fans. This is a scam. So usually I'm up all night. I pretty much added the person first. So you read the chat logs. Hello. Hey dear. You already added me. Just found out how to do it. I see. So, what's up with you? So you're a single mom, huh? The reason I asked that was because of the picture. Hello, because it was a, a long way. Nope. Who are those kids? That's my auntie's kids. Okay. I've always wanted to have my someday with the right man. Yeah, I, I get it. The right woman too. Yeah, this person I'm talking to for seven months, which I'm gonna skip all this. To the point where now, to play with this scammer if this person really loves me I asked I like to get to know you know but one condition the person asked one condition if I 
If I do, will you answer? Without an excuse. What's that? If I do call you, will you answer? Hello. <coughs> yes, of course. Okay. Want to call now? Later. Because everybody's sleeping. So the person called. It was about 7:24 a.m. this morning. I was up all night. Okay. What time is it there? I'm sorry. I'll know you. I'll call you later. My bad for asking. So I told the person it was 7:25 a.m. It's fine, dear. And me and I, I have a snap yet. We use we use the same time. What do you do for nothing? Which I'm not gonna give that information. What I do here. Except saying that my dad passed away a few years ago. Okay, my dad. My dad is late too. I live with my aunt. So I asked, "Your dad's, your dad's late." I didn't get what the person was saying. Yep. You mean pass or what? He's dead in a plane crash. Now there's a problem. You don't hear that very often. Then I got to I don't watch a lot of news, so that was very hard to believe. Okay, I hear that all the time, which I do hear that all the time. What do you mean? Other people talk that they say they lost a parent by plane crash or gunshot. I mean, this could happen, but I don't hear that very often on news. That a person was saying, my dad was a military doctor. Um, to try to come up with some excuse, so I went with this film. So of course a person saying, yeah, me too, because the person don't watch the news very often. So, I'm just saying now it's not making sense. Person is asking what, you know? So now I say, now, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much playing with the scammer now. So now I want to exchange pictures. Person was saying first meme, which I was dumb enough to show my real picture. Not a good one, but it's there. Then the person was sending me a picture of this one. Then there's a Dania message, which probably was a real picture. Don't know, don't care. I don't really. So the person just told me. I don't really love taking pictures, but I just love to send other pictures so you can see I just took them. So now this person is trying to really... Trying to really blame me? To believe that this was not a scam. Pulling it off and bringing it up. <laughs> I'm not gonna be the whole channel on here until we get over right here. So I pretty much lied about a lot of things too. I think I knew this was a scam. Okay, so this is a part now, not knowing a person for a long time. This is what the person asked me. Can you give me a card? That was fast. Yep, sorry dear. 
No, sorry, I would like to get to know you more first. The money with me isn't enough to get my breakfast. Shows me an empty fridge. Which that's how scammer tries to scam people with big pictures of empty stuff, which probably is true, but wants to scam people. Fuck that shit. So now they're going with the sad story that her aunt doesn't take care of her since her dad passed. I hear this all the time. Pretty much all the time. So, you know, I was tired, so I went to bed. Until... Right here. Don't ask it for the card. I keep nine and saying I was broke. So, you know, this dumb fuck that I was kind of pushing it like I was making food, which I was. Person doesn't know how to spell bullshit, right? Except saying that's bullshit is that's. Bills, shit. So, I video chat the person and came the cross of this person. Which I gotta go to my Google or my. Okay, so, um, got the picture, and there is the real person, acting like a female, Amanda from New York City, a dude from Africa or whatever, stupid idiot, first thing he does is nick his snips around. And you can see in the picture that, you know, I was already, you know, I was, I already knew this was going to happen. But I did not know what to say because I was hurt. Not only because of me, because this person scams other people. This motherfucker. So, my last words to the person before I blocked the person, scam. That was me. And I blocked the person. So, if you see this, I pretty much video chat, video chat this person for 10 seconds. Took the screen, a quick screenshot of them. Then I declined the, the video chat. So this is a number of scam. Well, the scam pictures. So. Let me show you to you one more time. I'm learning for this person. If you ever come across to Amanda, this, or you come across, if you ever have a, a what's up app with this number, it is a scam. A big fucking scam. Very funny too. And this person started two days ago. So that's pretty much it the scammers from this app called Meet Me App and follow up to what's up app well guys thank, thank you for watching and this is it for my scam alert for the first time ever so for tips if anybody asks you money and over less than a month or anything don't trust, don't give out your information because they're desperate to know your information. 
pretty much I play with this camera all the time. So, and I will put it under the script of thank you, one of the YouTubers I watch, big fan. So, um, please, um, be alerted if you have any random callers or any random texts with fake pictures or pictures that may not look real, that's a sign for scams. It is definitely a sign for scams. They could actually, if you give them all your information, they could take all your money away. And they could probably ruin your life. So beware of the scammers out there. Unfortunately, don't go on apps that's free, dating apps or anything. So, um, you got any questions? Leave a comment below the screen. And, hold up. That's pretty much it. I mean, pretty much playing with the scammer. This dude was one weird motherfucker. I could tell you that. One weird motherfucker. So, I would like to thank for this YouTuber that tracks down scammers all the time. And it's going to be in the bottom of the script of the name of the channel and a picture ID in the end of the video. Peace out. I have three. No, I have three cards for you, but you have to come back to the meeting. Click the link. Yeah. Do it. Do it.